Hey everybody, welcome to my second live for the day today for this virtual crop. I'm glad you guys can join me again. Um, what I'm going to do is this, it's going to be a pretty quick technique to create this gift card holder card, <laughs> gift card holder card. And the nice thing about this is that this is a standard card size. So it's the four and a quarter by five and a half once it's created. So this will fit in a, a standard envelope, which is great. But I do recommend that if you're going to mail this out to somebody that you do the um, hand stamped um, option, which is going to be extra postage to it. So that's just my warning. The, um, you know, supplies you need are very simple for this. So let's walk through it. So what I have is basically I have a piece of four and a quarter by 11 inch cardstock. And then I have some different pieces of, um, scrap paper. And I even, the nice thing about this is you're even able to use up some, um, of the picture of my life cards. So if you have a bunch of those, that's a great way to use them up. So I'm just going to put those aside for now and I'm just going to move this out of the way. And of course I always forget my adhesive. So I'm just going to quickly go grab my adhesive from my desk. So pretty easy in terms of scoring. We're going to score your four and a quarter by 11 inch cardstock. We're going to score this at oops, two inches and then at five and a half. That's easy. Haha. <laughs> so put that aside. So I'm just going to fold it over as you would any regular card. And then I'm folding this two inch piece in. So, and that's, I mean, that, that forms your base. The nice, you can get, you can make so many of these out of what you're doing, but what, so what I would recommend first is we're going to make our pocket and it's definitely good to have, um, another, a strong tape. Like I talked about earlier, I use this kind of red line, not red line, sorry, it's score tape, but you can use, um, red line sticky tape or any kind of strong adhesive. I put it on the inside of my two inch piece. I would, this is one, one quarter inch width. I would not recommend going any, um, you know, wider than that, you know, probably an, the eighth of an inch width would work. Then I'm just going to flatten it down. So there's my pocket and I am going to just adhere my pieces. So what I have for this, so on the front, I am going to mat this. I Basically, you can work with um, three by four cards for this. I'm going to put this piece down. This is, let's see, yeah, this is going to be a um, three by four piece. No, sorry, this is a three and a quarter by four and a quarter mat. And then I'm just, yeah, I just cut, cut a piece of a picture of my life card. And then this is going to be three by three and a quarter. So I just cut that down a little bit. Then on oops, this side here, we have one and three quarters by four. And again, like I did earlier, I will put all of the measurements for this online. And then this is just a straight three by four picture my life card on the inside. And then on my pocket, I'm just taking a couple pieces of cardstock. So what we've got is this, yeah, this is going to be um, one and three quarters, no, sorry, one and a half by um, four. And then the mat is one and three quarters. Oh, sorry, yeah, one and a half by, th yeah, three and three quarters. And then one and three quarters by four. Oh, see, I knew I could make a mistake today. So I meant to do this earlier. So I'm going to take a little punch. Well, I have a one inch circle punch that I use. This is just going to make it easier. You don't have to do this. This is just kind of an extra piece. And it's just to punch out a little circle. 
just makes for the extra, you know, for getting the, the card out easier. And then all I'm going to do is I'm, I've got my little, I cut this, this coffee cup and lid and the sentiments comes from the November um, stamp of the month from Close to My Heart. This is a stamp set that you, those of you who are in my VIP, uh, part of my VIPs can get this stamp for free with a $50 purchase on um, my website during the month of November. If you're not a VIP, you can still get this stamp set. Um, you, if you do a $50 purchase, the stamp set would just be $5. Otherwise, the stamp set is $18.95. And I love this because you can do it. This is great. Like if you have um, people that you know that maybe you give coffee gift cards to or, you know, like tea gift cards, we've got the you know, the larger coffee cup, you could use it for tea. We've got hot cocoa. Uh, this is adorable for definitely decorating cards and such for this time of year. So I'm not going to go through everything, but what I did with mine, with this one, is I tied a little bit of twine around the cup. I used some 3D foam tape to put the cup up a little bit from it, added a few sparkles. And I also did use the clear shimmer brush to add a little bit of... Um, embellishment you know to that and the card is on the inside and then you've just got you can pull out your gift card and there we go very simple quick gift card holder that you can send in an envelope and um give it to somebody for the holidays um you know there's so many different things you can do with this this is something of course don't have to do it for christmas um you can do this any time of year for birthday gift cards or for anything like that. I hope you guys liked it. And I, if you make one, please post it on the event so that I can see your version of it. Thanks for joining me again. And I'll see you back on Zoom. Have a wonderful afternoon.